I don't know. Part of me wants to go in. I don't know if we can. Ooh. Some loot. Okay. Diamond dust. Various bits and pieces. Another book. More books. Books and valuables. Oh, and there's something in that chest. And as far as I can see, that's everything in here. I'll go ahead. Okay. What's that? That is a trap. I wrote it like I saw it. It's just not my lucky day. No, it isn't. But I'm listening. Still. Someone a prisoner of the Stag Lord. Hmm. I believe I found something. Hello. I see something. What troubles you? I won't let you down. Yeah, you probably will. Give the order. Let's see what's in I here. I see something. And Lindsay was called no. for it. Please. Pull Octavia back. Lindsay might set this off. Anything else? Oh, Lindsay might set this one off. Applause, please. I failed. Trapped rug. Interesting. I've broken a nail. Done and done. Have the various bits and pieces. Oh, hello. A magic light hammer. Is Just this is this not a thing? How is that not a thing? Well, I'm slightly terrified that we're going to bump into. Well, do I want to talk to this guy? Oh, that's locked. And there's a thing over here that's treasure. Oh, a bookshelf. That's locked. Uh, let's go and talk to this prisoner. I'm listening. Valerie's the only one with health. You can try and deal with this, all right. Stranger, stranger wants my blood, I know. Oh, no. Okay, so he's nearly dead already. Maybe we should find... Uh, New Grad the Druid. Oh right, oh that's that was just that was a quest. So which we've done. Quickly, let's go to the trading post. Um Magic Hide Armor. This crumpled note. The path what have we clear. got? We've picked up some more notes, haven't we? Let's have a look. Are they in here? Uh the Legend of the Pathfinder. The door flung open. The three chaps sharing adventures sto adventure stories fell silent. Hail, friend, said the visitor in a deep voice. Have you got a room for me, master? The bored half-elf behind the counter peered into the visitor's face and whistled. Blimey, if it isn't Gregus Jeffs. Hail, friend. Let me give you a room. Your gold is no good here. No, I'll pay for it in full. That's what the society is for, helping and sharing. Gregus nods at the three chaps. So there's my replacement. Have you held the confirmation yet? We've got one last trial to go, the youngest blurted out and popped up from his chair. Such an honour, I've read all the chronicles, all about your adventures. I heard you, jo you joined the uh, Decemvirate, Gregus, another uttered. Oh, did you? You should cut off your ears then, they deceive you. Am I wearing a mask? You ain't. Good for you. A pathfinder with no eyes is no good. I'm not interested in politics, I'm interested in seeking. So, are you going to pour me a beer, and I'll tell you a couple of tales. Secret overlords, the essence of the world order. Until recently, we knew this world as it was described in books and stories. A sewer, torn apart by hy hyenas that separate us with nations and borders, oppress us with extortion and lies, and assert their authority and power. However, someone else's hand rules these slaves who act like masters. It's a threat far more intimidating than a handful of arrogant fools. Our lands are secretly ruled by the most ancient creatures of Galarian. 
the inhabitants of the ever-dark depths who know both past and future. People are led along paths they cannot see and do not have the power to leave. To an end known only to our hidden masters. Some insist the signs are purely coincidental, but they point to a vast conspiracy. Only a fool can fail to see how the myriad co coincidences weave into a great cobweb. Or they have submitted their very will and sworn their allegiance to our unseen masters in the depths. The Great Debates by Valera Ilio. Today, many know of the Suram Suramgamin order and respect its teachings, even endorse them. Such was not yet the case on that memorable day when an unheard of forest hermit came to a temple of Sarenre and challenged the high priestess to a debate. This was Avalo, whom none had yet called teacher, a traveling wise man who left Jalmari in search of wisdom and found it here in Andoran while meditating in Arthfell Forest. The revelation he received was as brilliant as it was controversial. According to his philosophy, truth lies not only in venerating the gods of the good and order, and it's curious that while recognizing Erastil, Abadar, Shelin, Irori, Eomide, and Sarenre, he at the same time rejects the kinder gods of chaos, such as Desna or Caden Kalian. Instead, he pursues the so-called wise way, a common principle said to underlie all the teachings of his favoured deities. Avalo has defended this philosophy in debates with many theologians from various temples. Only a few of them were converted on the spot, but gradually a circle of loyal disciples formed around him. By turns, this circle grew into the order he calls Suramgamin, which means the way of a hero, or perhaps the way to making the world a better place. In this book, I recount the story of these early debates, including detailed theological comments on the central points of each side. So that was that one. Prodigal Sons. It is done, I said. Milliken studied me with narrowed eyes. You look awfully clean, he said. Where's the knife? In answer, the first shouts went up from the inn. Fire! screamed Ilna, and then other voices joined in. In an instant, Milliken's entrepreneurial instincts took over, and he sprang for the door, tossing the crossbow aside. Outside, the roof of the inn was already smoking oily black against the sunset. Aim licking, flame licking through the thatching in places. With a scream of pain, Milliken ran for the creek. I looked to Fargus. Needing no further cue, we each grabbed up armfuls of supplies and sprinted off in the opposite direction. After ten minutes of leaping brambles and duck branches, we stopped to catch our breath. Back the way we'd come, the smoke was still visible, though the sounds had faded to just the faint and frantic pealing of a church bell. That was close, Fargus said, leaning against the tree, tree and breathing hard. Agreed, I puffed, staring down at the cloak full of bread that now made up our sole possessions. Then the sound of the bell reminded us of something. About what you said back there, I asked. You said Shellin. I thought you were a priest of Desna, Fargus grunted. A man's faith is a personal thing, he said, trying, tying up the cloak. Now shut up and keep running. And we did. And then... N uh, Nugra's crumpled note. He calls to her again, his queen. He drinks, he calls to her. He drinks again. I have no idea who she is. I can't even tell if she exists outside his drunk own drunken vision. But I know he'll call to her, and then he'll crash around angrily, yelling that she didn't come. Then he'll come for me. I obey the rules, I do as he says. I keep silent until he allows me to speak, but he still beats me every time he drinks and rages. He said he'll burn my hands in acid next time. Will I still be able to write? I... Dot. Dot. Well, we've managed to kind of pick up some stuff. We can't get into that last box at the moment. Tread lightly. Uh, so we'll head back out of the keep. So we need to head to... Where... What? Um, all right. Uh, we need to head back to the camp. I think I might actually rest again. Uh... I mean, can I rest in here, actually? The luxurious bed is untouched. It seems it hasn't been slept in for some time. Is that the one for his queen? Yeah, we can rest in here. Which I feel will be slightly safer than resting outside. Uh, we'll use the rations. Because we're in the same position. Uh, we'll switch you out. Uh, we'll have... Actually, it doesn't, I don't think it really matters where we go. Which one we go for. We can't cook. 
Uh, what's Octavia? Set alarm. One once of any enemies and doubling HP recovery. Ooh, yes, that yes, please. So we'll just do that, I think. We have to do that. Resting will take a full day. For whatever reason. Oh, minimum rest is, is a day. We'll flip. Takes time to restore companions to full health. How do I go just to where I need to rest? Just 24. Just the minimum, because that's going to be an awful lot anyway. But that's what we'll do. We'll get fully rested. Well, we'll get fully rested. Heard that in a faraway tribe, people entertain themselves by throwing huge logs. Whoever throws it the farthest is the strongest. Throwing logs. <laughs> what weaklings. The mammoth lords lift mammoths. I used to lift two at once. Camp camouflage successful. Yes, no one's going to come looking for us inside the keep. All right, let's continue. But I think everyone's now going to, should be at full health again. After the last one, we weren't at full health. But uh, now we are. That's good. So, yeah, let's head back to the um, trading post then. I just did this because I'm slightly worried about the whole owlbear thing. Let us be careful. Yes, that's probably wise. Grab potions. I might remember to use them at some point. Oh, the Albert's still there. All right. Maybe we shouldn't move in here then. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Or do I go for the Albert? Mm, no, I don't feel like it. He's not being overly aggressive with me at the moment. Although I think all the bandits that helped us, like Kressel, they're dead. I think that's sad. The path is clear. But yeah, let's. Venture onwards. Because what was it? It's just the only thing we've got left. Um, that's why we came to attend the. Uh, we'll so help. It. So we could go and then speak with Nettle. So we could. Oh, we've got 45 days, so we should be alright. And then we're going to talk to Oleg. Oh, let's just leave then. Um, so yeah, that's. That, that, so we could go to Nettle. And hand that quest in, and then go to Oleg, rather than that's probably a more natural, uh, more well efficient way of going. Well, not natural, but efficient. So I could go here and up round this way. That's going to be faster than the way it's saying to go. Keep going along, and then yeah, this will link up. And now we just go straight up. Yeah, you're going to ask to stop. Oh. Fight. They're not going to be too bad, I don't think. This random encounter. May we have a moment of respite? Oh, I don't want to fight Cobalt. Let's head out. <laughs> just walk away. Just walk away. I don't want to fight any more kobolds. So I've done. Would be nice. I've done enough. Don't you think? We'll have a quick rest. Right. So we need to hunt. So who's the best at hunting again? So, yeah. There we go. Eight two seven zero nine. Okay, so you're better at hunting. That's interesting. Don't need to use the rations, I don't think. Uh, for cooking... 11... Yeah, oh yeah, you're my cook. But I think we can just use hearty meal and not use these resources. Actually, I could go for the speed. Which is the speed again? Yeah, use the jeweled rice. Uh, you could have them maintain armor. I don't... I think we'll just leave it like that. And people will move Amiri, around. 
<laughs> Aren't you cold just wearing those hides? They cover almost nothing. <laughs> Is it ever cold here? You could walk around naked, bouncing your boobs. My homeland, that's where it's cold. Spit freezes before it hits the ground. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, doing very well. We're a good team for the moment. Onwards to the crossing. We'll chat with Nettle, and then we'll head back to the trading post again. What does it say? Five coins to cross the river. There he is again. Staglord is dead. For Asma awaits. Farewell, Erdos. Yes, she's the goddess of death. Freed an innocent soul from eternal torment, Erdos. Yours is truly a noble soul. The corpse crumples to the ground. The red panda went to save him. Ah. So that's been dealt with. So what did that say? Oh, I have to do this. Uh, Riverbed Nightmare. Uh, when the Stag Lord's blood spilled on the ground, he de he'd, he'd defiled. We weren't the only ones to sigh with relief. We vindicated many innocent lives that a cursed bandit had extinguished before we arrived. Alas, we know only one of his victim's names. Rest in peace, Davik Nettle. Oh, there we go. I think it might actually... I think we'll put the curtain here, and next time we will... Uh... Actually, wasn't there something in here we could... We tried to loot and we couldn't. Yes. I did as you asked. There we go. We got a new ring, which I think is a ring of protection by the looks of it. Oh, I need to sort all my magic stuff out, don't I? Um. Yes. So I think we'll have to. Good grief! I'm gonna have to sit down and think about that. I. Uh, so I think actually we'll put the curtain here. Is clear. Looks like a storm's coming. Oh wow! Actually, a proper storm. All right, so we found some other things as well. Okay, yeah, let's 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 put the curtain here, and uh, next time we'll try and avoid the storm, and uh, we'll um, uh, deal with all these magic items we've got, and head back to the trading post. But that. We'll be next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.